So, uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, I just started reading through the license and I figured I would do it live because it's better to get questions, maybe some other perspectives as I'm going through the SD3 license. Um, I've not, not yet had a chance to go through the whole thing, but I got through enough of it that I figured it would be worthwhile uh, to answer questions that come up as people uh, hear my interpretation of this. I will preface this. People often ask, hey, are you a lawyer? No, I just read a lot of contracts, uh, so I know what to look for. And I also, I mean, obviously, I'm very, very closely keeping an eye on licenses that we use since we're an Apache 2 project. So uh, it is going to be interesting. So let's let's take a look at this. Um, the first thing is, this is the new community license agreement. It effectively settles uh, this, this kind of like existing question of what is the creator's license, where does it apply and all that kind of stuff. So this is the new license. Uh, this is what applies to SD3 medium and hypothetically a future model that they, uh, plan to release, um, improvements of all that. So we're going to go through, uh, piece by piece, uh, as, as fun as reading through contracts, uh, is to most people, we'll try to make it accessible. Um, feel free to ask questions if you have any, I'll put the link in so that you can see it, um, and read along with me. If you've got questions, uh, feel free to put them in the chat. So we're looking at stability community license agreement. Um, the intro here is that this is supposed to cover both the models and derivative works. Derivative works again, are going to be like fine tunes and Laura's. Uh, for research, com non-commercial and commercial purposes. Um, this is, I, I think a lot of this language is effectively like useless. It's marketing language. Um, this, this is not the actual terms and agreements uh, that you're making with the license. You've got to go deeper for that. So let's go to that. Um, research and non-commercial use and then commercial use. We have a non-exclusive, worldwide, non-transferable, non-sublicensable, revocable, and royalty-free limited license under Stability AI's intellectual property uh, or other rights owned by Stability AI. Uh, the piece that you should call out here, I mean, each of these terms is used for a reason. It's not they didn't put a list here uh, for nothing. Uh, the ones that actually stand out to me, non-sublicensable, and revocable. So what does non-sublicensable mean? If I was a creator and I created a model, I would be unable to sublicense that to someone else. Theoretically, this is a non-sublicensable. I can't sublicense things out. Uh, maybe. It's kind of like it's unclear to me what the relationships are there and what they would actually enforce, but it is interesting. But revocable is the one that's really uh, very concerning from anyone who's looking at this as like a piece of IP, right? So revocable means they can take it away. They can take away the license. And, and I think it's important to recognize this is a license that is not intended to be like what you would get with MIT or Apache 2. When, when someone releases code and it's MIT, that code is out there. MIT, whatever was released under it, that is open. Anyone can continue to distribute that. That thing is an open piece of software. It's out, right? The, the organization that released it could say, oops, uh, we actually changed our mind. We're not making any money. We want to charge you for it now. And you can basically say, you already licensed it as MIT. It's out into the world, right? That's because the license is going out with the software. Right, the license is part of the software, and it is effectively uh, kind of like this redistributable thing that cannot be revoked. Revocable, and the fact that we're watching kind of or, or reading through this live on the website indicates that these terms can change anytime, at any point, for whatever reason stability wants in their discretion. They are the ones who control the terms. And so it's it's really important to recognize that that is what the license has here is those can change that is that is how this uh, relationship works. Um, 
that is true on both the research, not commercial and the commercial use uh, sections. So we've got revocable right here as well. Um, the commercial purposes means that you are using it primarily for commercial advantage or monetary compensation to you. Makes sense. Uh, whether you're creating or distributing the product using a hosted service or for internal operations. So if you're like a game studio or VFX studio, um, if you are using or distributing it for commercial purposes, you must register with Stability AI. Uh, so regardless, if you're using it for commercial purposes, you have to register. Uh, and I assume that's because you're going to be reporting revenue to Stability AI. Uh, and if at any time you or your affiliates, either individually or in the aggregate, that means whether it's you by yourself or you're a part of a team or group company, if you generate more than a million in revenue, regardless of whether that revenue is generated from the materials or derivative work. So it's basically like if you're a popsicle stand, and you make a million dollars in popsicles and you use Stability's model to generate a picture of your new like popsicle logo, you need an enterprise license. It doesn't matter how many pictures you're generating. It doesn't mean that you're using this as a core business um, operation. It's just you've used the model and now you are required to have an enterprise license. Um, the interesting piece that I'm seeing here is any licenses granted to you under this agreement shall terminate the moment you make a million dollars. So the license kind of explodes uh, the, the day that you hit the million dollar mark. So maybe, maybe this is kind of like a uh, very limited scope problem. I, I'm sure that most of us here, if we were making a million dollars, uh, individually would be like, uh, say that's a good problem, but from a business perspective, it's definitely weird to have this kind of like exploding license, uh, because it then says you must request a license from stability, which they may grant to you in its sole discretion. Uh, so basically they're, they're saying like you could get to a point where your license explodes. You were relying on this to grow a business, right? You're starting day one. You don't make a million in revenue. You build a business and now your studio has, let's say six or seven people in it and you're paying all their salaries and you're making enough money to break even and your license just explodes. Uh, and so now you've got to go to stability. What if stability doesn't get back to you? Like they haven't gotten back to us. What if they don't? give you a license? What if they don't exist anymore, right? All of those things mean that you are not using it under the license. You have no license because your license has already exploded. It's really weird. <clears throat> it's not very good. Um, so we'll keep going. Uh, we're down in the general terms. Uh, distribution and attribution is the first section here. Uh, if you distribute or make available the materials or a derivative work, so if you share the model or any fine tunes to anyone at any point in time, whether it's through a product or a service, you have to give them a copy of the agreement. Uh, you have to have an attribution notice with a notice text file distributed as part of the copies saying that it's licensed under the community license. So basically you've got to point back to the community license <coughs> and you need to Prominently display powered by stability AI on a related website, user interface, blog post, about page, or product documentation. Uh, so if you use this, uh, this, is not, this is not the enterprise license. This is just the normal license. If you use this and distribute the derivative work, you now have to advertise for stability on any related uh, websites, interfaces, blog posts, yada, yada, yada. Um, if you create a derivative work, you may add your own attribution notices to the notice text file. So basically you can go below the part where it says this stability AI models license under the community license, and you can add additional attribution notices to the notice file. They just don't supersede the stability license. They're just kind of like addendums to it. Um, use restrictions, uh, you must comply with laws. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, you must adhere to the documentation and stability AI's acceptable use policy. I think this is largely what's in the existing stable diffusion. Um, 
you, <laughs> you will not use the stability materials or derivative works or any output or results of the stability AI materials or derivative works to create or improve any foundational generative AI model, accepting or excluding the models or derivative works. It's the same problem that was in the original license that hasn't been fixed, which means if you are producing new IP with this, you cannot use it to train another model unless it's SD3. And now it's, you're still stuck in the ecosystem. This doesn't solve anything. It's not a, it's not a solution. Um, I, this is like the piece that just like really gets me because this is stupid. This is really, really stupid. Um, so A, problems we still have. We are still looking at a license that can explode at any time and change at any time at stability's whim. That's the fact. The second piece here is from an intellectual property perspective, this is a no-go. It's a no-go. Uh, we This right here kills us uh, because we're not able to use our own generations to create or improve other models. The synthetic data that's being generated is not ours to do with as we please. Now, this is interesting because just a little bit below here, we've got ownership of derivative works and outputs. And this is going to be the, the confusing, confusing piece in this license. If you don't read this part, you're going to skip to this part and you're going to say, you are the owner of derivative works you create and you own any outputs generated from the models. And that doesn't mean anything because of the restrictions that have just been stated above that. Um, this is really weird. This is like a really weird license. It's not consistent. It doesn't make sense. Uh, it's odd. Um, yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird. <clears throat> we'll keep going. Uh, disputes. Uh, if you institute litigation or any portion uh, alleging that materials or any portion thereof constitute infringement, uh, then you lose your license, okay? So you can't sue stability or you lose your license, okay? Um, feedback just means you give a license to your feedback. They can do with what they please. <clears throat> We've got disclaimer of warranty, limitation of liability, term and termination. Let's read the term and termination. The term of this agreement will commence upon our acceptance uh, and access will continue in full force and effect until terminated. Stability AI may terminate this agree agreement uh, if we're in breach. And upon termination, upon termination of this agreement, you shall delete and cease use of any stability materials or derivative works. They said that the deletion piece is gone and it's still here. Now, here's the really funny part. The, the license terminates based on the, the details above. Where is this dumb thing? Where is this? Uh, where was it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you generate more than a million in an annual revenue under this agreement, you shall terminate like the, ter the, the ter agreement terminates at that point. And it just says here, when it terminates, uh, you have to delete the materials, right? It says, upon termination of this agreement, you shall delete and cease use of any stability AI materials or river works. So this may may be unintended. It likely is unintended. But they are saying that when you make a million dollars, you need to delete all your fine tunes. You need to delete everything until you get an enterprise agreement in place. These are these are absurd. This is strange. It's strange and inconsistent. Any lawyer who looks at this is going to probably say the same thing. Um, yeah, derivative. Yeah, derivative works. They've expanded the definition here to include fine tune and low rank adaptation models derived from a model uh, or a model's output, but do not include the output of any model. Uh, so they've expanded the definition. Thank you, Stability, for uh, derivative works to emphasize that it does include fine tunes as well as LORAs. Um, I don't see textual inversion embeddings, something that got out uh, of being included. Uh, and that's it. That's it. That's the end. These are the updates. Um, 
yeah, I, I'm going to have to say big old thumbs down to SD3 new license. Uh, so this is unfortunate. I know that the it was advertised as solving the problems. It doesn't really solve the problems that I saw for uh, people who are actually concerned about building a business around this stuff. Um, again, I don't have visibility into the enterprise license, but regardless, this is like a no-go. Um, just the way that this is being handled is very, very strange and weird. Um, maybe we'll get some more clarity. I mean, again, the license can change at any time, so we, they can fix this again if uh, they find that what we're saying is like not what they intended and they wanted to clarify it. But again, I think this guy kind of um, changing license uh, emphasizes or highlights the relationship that you have with this model, which is you don't have a, a real solid foundation in understanding what it's going to look like, right? The license can change at any time. You don't really have any stability in, uh, no pun intended, uh, stability in the terms you're agreeing to that they can all change. And even as it's written, it doesn't make any sense as to why you would use it if you actually care about your intellectual property. So uh, I'm going to give this uh, one star. This is a one star license, um, maybe one and a half star. It's better than the original. Um, anyone have questions? Uh, I, I am seeing mostly just emojis of anger and sadness. Uh, somebody said this model's dead. Maybe uh, they can still, they can still change it. Maybe. Um, somebody asked, do I now have to go back through all my SD3 tests where I posted images and update them with powered by stability AI? Uh, I don't think so. The outputs are not derivative works. Derivative works are going to be the models. So if you made a fine tune of SD3, you would need to go back and uh, put powered by stability AI on any of those. Uh, so he said it was a sarcastic question. I still answered it. Um, cool. Well, that's it. The We've gone through the whole thing. Uh, if you all have questions, feel free to shoot. Uh, me a note. Uh, thank you for joining me live on an ad hoc license read. And we will continue to monitor the situation. Uh, but again, uh, regardless of what happens, there is still hope for openly licensed models that make sense and are actually permissive. Uh, the Open Model Initiative is still um, working towards getting some of the working groups out and building an actual openly licensed model that you can use with no strings attached. Um, and hopefully we'll have that um, with more news soon, uh, keep an eye on that discord for more details, but hopefully this was helpful to you all. Uh, we'll share more as we find out more, uh, talk soon. <laughs>